Hello everybody, it's John. Welcome back to JT Drums. Today in this video, I'm going to talk about tightening the drums on your electric drum set. Now, when you first buy an electric drum set and you unwrap it and you begin to play it, the heads might feel a little loose. I mean, not loose, but not, but they won't feel quite as right. But when you tighten them, now here's my suggestion on tightening drums. I highly suggest and recommend that you do it at least once a year on your on your electric drum set. So you're not, like if you do it too frequent, it's gonna be hard on the heads, it's also gonna be hard on the logs, tension, and all, and all that mechanism. Now, the thing about an electric drum set is you don't have to tune it to a specific, specific Oh, shoot. Specific pitch. When I talk fast, I tend to lose my speech. Yeah, you don't have to tune it to a specific pitch because the sounds are already provided there for you. On any electric drum set, you don't have to tune it because, you know, the sound's already there. Like, if you tighten or loosen them, they're not, it's not going to change, like I said, because, you know, the sound, the sound is already there. The only way, it, I would say, this is not tuning, but, um, if you want to, but... Now, my drum set is an Alesis. I had this drum set in 20, since 2019, since my freshman year of high school. For those that didn't know, I am in marching band and jazz band and pep band. I, I play quads this year. I am a junior at Cam McKinley High School. So, for those that want to know. So... If you have an Alesis drum set and your mo module looks something like this, now sorry if you sorry if you're not seeing this, but um, on the screen here under kit, you hit this right arrow and that will change the that will change the sound for the whole entire drum set. So it will change to a whole different kit. Now that sounds very vintage. That just, that's like, that sounds extremely vintage. And I never, actually, to be honest with you, I never heard an actual drum set sound like that. That actually sounds really good, actually. I love that, I love the sound, I love how nice and dry the snare, the snare sound is. that bottom tom man i love that but i usually have it on kit one now i don't even know what kind of kit that would sound like but anyway that's i call that tuning an electric drum set by changing the sounds on your drum module anyways let's get into tightening the drums so if I had an acoustic drum set and I showed you all how to tighten on how to tighten tighten drums, I would do it completely different on this because you know you're tightening you're tuning slash tightening it to the pitch that feels appropriate and it sound and sounds good personally to you. There's many videos on how to do it. So anyway, let's get it, let's get on with tightening. So when you buy an Alesis, Alesis drum set, it's gonna come with this kind of drum key. It looks something like a wrench. Now, I'm going to start with the snare. Now, when you start tightening, I always start at the very top of the snare drum. And, and whenever I tighten, I'm just going to do, I usually do one to two turns at a time. This time, I'm going to do one. Oops. I don't know why it does that. Now, my recommendation is when you tighten... Always do, ah, stop, here, let me turn this off. This is actually kind of getting a little annoying. Having a, not annoying, but you know. Now, when you tighten, always do the star method. Because if you do it across and you're tightening the lugs all at once by one, it's gonna, it's gonna pull off tension from part, 
from part of the drum and it's gonna make it even harder to tight. So that's why I recommend the star method and a lot of other drummers recommend it too. Just saying. And I think I think that tightens it even. It, it just really makes the tension just all even and equal. Now I'm gonna feel the head and that's, I would say, you, you know, you can't see it moving and everything, but um, the head feels just, I mean, it feels tight, but I think it could be just a little tighter. So I'm gonna go around, just do one turn on each lug. I would say t two, one, two would be good, but just do one on each lug. So, so the tension is equal and you're not taking tension off from one side or another. Now I'm just gonna tighten this one just a little bit. Cause if you if you go around to tighten it in the circle and it's already loose, the lugs the lugs will start to loosen up and it really just makes it a lot harder to do. Now if you do tighten in the circle after you tighten, just do it to make sure the lugs are nice and tight. I would say I just do just a quarter turn. But really the star method is very recommendable recommendable and that actually that feels really tight there now you're going to do the same on the toms and the best place to start is the upper right corner like i said I, i'm going to do one full turn on each lug That can be just a little tighter. It's already pretty tight, but if you want to make it a little tighter, I would say just do a quarter turn. Don't also, one thing you should never do, don't ever tighten a lug at once, then tighten the other one at once and the other one at once and don't tighten it all the way. Do it, do it equally because if you do, like I said, it, it's gonna really pull off tension. You want the tension to be equal so, so the process is so so it's nicely done and and yeah i mean so yeah like i said you you want it to be you want you always want to go across like i said it makes the tension equal and also it, it it'll just yeah it just makes everything even and you want everything just to be nice and even i know i'm saying the same thing over and over i'm just trying to just trying to bear with me i know i'm talking really weird but you know like I said, also, you would do the same thing here too, like I said on, on the other Tom, if you have an Alasis drum set. But now if I have an acoustic drum set, if I do, I will make a video on how to tune it. Now my drums are pretty, now these are pretty loose, but I'll, I'm not gonna tighten them in the video. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, don't go if you only if you go around in a circle and tighten it, like I said, it just pulls off tension. I only just do it just to make sure that all the lugs are perfectly tight. It's just so it makes everything even and everything is equal and the tuning process is done a lot faster and so nothing's altered or nothing's stripped. That's what I was going to say. I was trying to think of what I was going to say, but I know about drums, but you know, I know how, I know how tuning works. You don't want anything altered. You don't want anything tighter, tighter than the other side or looser than the other side. You want everything to be nice and equal and even. And that's why I don't, yeah, just don't, don't be tightening them all at I mean, don't tighten them tight, then tighten the other one tight because, you know, that's just, that just pulls off tension. And then, you know, something might be tighter than the other. And, and also, if you're doing it with other screws, it'll loosen up other, it'll loosen up the other lugs. So that's why I just do it once on every, on every lug when I go, when I do the star cross method, just so it makes it very even. So now we got, that can be a little tighter. So I, like I said... If you want to make things just a little tighter, just do a quarter turn. 
just so we're not fooling with the lugs. Now my bass drum there is, you can see, you can tell it has a hole in it. I broke that last year and it's already tight, so I'm not gonna retighten it again. And also, it's not gonna change the sound for your drum set. It's still gonna sound the same, but it might just feel a little bit better. And the heads might be a little bit better to play on too. Like, on tight heads on, tight electric heads would be better, would be actually better to play on because you know the feel of it. I just love the feel of tight heads. I mean, like I said, it's not gonna change the sound. It'll just, it, it just gives you a better feel. On, a, on an acoustic drum set, it's gonna, there, it's gonna be a, there's gonna be whole different ways than doing it through, through an electric drum set. So that is all. I will see you guys on whenever I make a video. Thank you for watching. Hope this is helpful. And please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook under JT Drums. I know I'm not posting a lot. I'm just real busy right now, but I'll, I'll be back.